Hello Capricorns, welcome to your monthly tarot reading for the month of April. A lot of cards that just flew out, so let me arrange them here. I believe this one came first. Whoa. Okay, Page of Pentacles, the Hierophant, Wheel of Fortune, the Six of Swords, and I think it was these. The Page of Cups, Knight of Pentacles, the Eight of Cups, Six of Cups, okay, Five of Cups, I'm going to get one more here. Knight of Wands, okay. So let's see, what's the main theme that is coming up here? Okay. So in the middle of the spread, we do have the Wheel of Fortune, and that does indicate to me it's coming in very central to this spread. The energy is um, it's indicative of this. There is an opportunity now opening up for you, and it's going to require you to move back to a previous point in time to resolve whatever conflicts has been brewing. And I feel that um, there was a, a situation that you've dealt with in the past, with a person in which you have a very long history and there potentially could have been like a falling out or a parting of ways not on mutually you know um, beneficial terms for both parties so if you are to go back to this situation and try to fix it the time is very favorable for you to do that right now we do have a lot of court cards showing up as well so what I would say is um, this definitely is a situation where it's somebody you've known for a really long time. I don't sense an overly like romantic ambiance with this card, so I would say it's mainly like a friendship or any type of a interpersonal relationship, especially with um, friends who might be a little bit younger than you or with a um, let me see a family member. It could also be love, but I feel that the love had ended, you know. So um, you might have had a falling out or you might have had like a disagreement in um, your your communication styles, in your philosophical outlook. So there might have been like a parting of ways. And the time to fix that situation and basically to reach out to that person is definitely now. Um, the only person that is coming up in the reverse position is a Page of Cups. And I do feel that, um, you know, it is a water sign and it is a very young energy. So if this falling out is related to a water sign, a Pisces, a Cancer, or a Scorpio, I do feel that this person can benefit from a lot of your maturity and your guidance. They can learn a lot from you. So it would be very beneficial for you right now to come back to that situation, fix it, and try to move forward. Because I feel that it has been plaguing uh, your mind. You're still living with like the repercussions of that falling out. And moving forward, if you were to fix that situation with that person, if you were to reconcile, I wouldn't say get back together because there's no more love in this situation. I feel that it's long gone and forgotten. But they might be cycling back in, so, you know, give them, like, um, the closure that they need to move forward. And I feel that in the process of doing that, you yourself would be able to find, like, a better way to advance forward with your life, okay? So, um, what I do sense is that um, this person, the the water sign might come across a, a little bit of money or they might start a new job or an apprenticeship or like an internship in which they're making quite a bit of money and they, it has a lot of potential for growth um and you know they they want the guidance they um you would be very instrumental in helping them to achieve uh, a, a little more abundance in life. So that might also be why they're coming back in too. Because you have um, a very solid foundation and you are very reliable, loving, trusting, and helpful more than anything. So that's why they're trying to come back in at this point to try to, um, I guess reap the benefits from you i don't feel that they have malicious intentions mainly because it is a page energy and not like a knight or a king of cups energy but they are doing it in a very like uh, in a slightly manipulative 
and in a very underhanded way and you're not going to be able to um to let them get away with it mainly because you you know their motives you know that um they're a little manipulative because you've dealt with them in the past so you know either way you're kind of turning your back on them but I, I feel that they don't really mean it. They just, their communication is a little out of whack and they they resort to underhanded things without, you know, thinking about the long-term ramifications. So um, try to help them if you can, if it's not too much of a burden on you because I feel that they can really benefit from your guidance, okay? And if anything, this reconciliation will help you move forward more than anything. That's the most beneficial thing coming from out from this spread so I would advise you to do it another thing I would say is um, aside from that uh, one falling out past relationship what I do sense is um, you have a new spark of um, passion and a new spark of energy that is coming in and it's coming into the very end of this month which is understandable because um, from the 21st on we are moving into the uh, sun sign of Taurus, which is a fellow Earth sign, so the energy was stabilized for you to get projects going and to get you know um, the right kinds of people in your life as well. So um, what I'm feeling is there is a fire sign that is coming in for you. It could be a fire sign or somebody who is very spirited, who is very honest, and who is not prone to manipulation the way that the previous person in your past was or is still. So um, you're going to find his or her presence, this fire sign, you're going to find this person very charming, very endearing, and extremely honest, like honest to a fault, which is a nice change of scenery for you based on the people you've been dating in the past, okay? So um, this person is very sincere, they're a little hot-headed, and um, let me see here. The cards surrounding sit this person are a little problematic. I feel that this person is a good, genuinely kind person and very honest. Um, but I do feel, you know, that um, he or she has a little bit of emotional um, baggage, okay? Even like, um, I, I, I sense emotional damage. And not in a sense that like they're, you know, mentally incapable or anything like that. But I do see that... Um, you're you're in a very stable frame of mind okay and you have a lot of love and affection to give and you're ready to enter new relationships that's what i'm i'm sensing here however the timing between you and this fire sign is um is basically blocked mainly because there's something from your past that previous person that you have to resolve issues with and from this person's past they have like um they're recovering from a broken heart is what I'm sensing and they they're living with a lot of regret and um, that they're not dealing with they're trying their best to fix themselves and to be okay and deep down I feel like you know they, they might genuinely feel that um, they're ready to date but they have a lot of unfinished business especially emotional baggage and I feel like everyone has emotional baggage but this person, being a fire sign, he or she is not introspective enough to really assess the damage that is done to the heart. And so he or she might be rushing in and promising you things. Um, he, he or she is like gravitating to you, mainly because you have such a profoundly stable influence. And this person is not. So... Um, they're gravitating towards you okay so um, in order for this union to work really effectively the both of you need to solve issues from your respective ends so you have to resolve this situation this falling out from the past and he or she has to resolve his or her hang-ups from the past in order for this to work out nicely okay so I'm saying that I know it comes off <laughs> across like two males but you know it's um, feminine or masculine energy because it is a general reading so don't look at that the wrong way and alternatively it can be a friend you know it can be a friend that you drive really well with and that is coming in 
And what I'm sensing is overall, you know, um, everyone has their own baggage and their own, you know, hiccups in life that they have to work through. And um, I feel like you have an opportunity to work through your own. So they're, they have an opportunity this month as well to work through theirs. So in in hindsight, like if there is a union happening at the end of the month, it looks very favorable between you and a fire sign, okay? So it everything looks very good. And like I said, the blockage will be, um, I guess, lifted from the 21st on for you to move forward with new project. The Hierophant card is coming in here and it does indicate like it, it is a, the card of Taurus, but it also indicates the time of Taurus. So if you want to get going with anything else, um, resolve from, you know, from now until the 21st, resolve issues from your past even if you can, and then um, give it like a once over, take care of all your, um, all of, all the things that have been holding you back in the past, and then new energy will come in from the 21st on, okay, so luck is definitely on the upswing for you guys, which is a really, really good thing to have, I feel that um, financially, this month is going to be very plentiful, and um, you might get money coming in from other people, coming in from your main source of employment, and overall, just a lot of good luck is just going to fall right in your, on your lap, and, um, let me see here. Yeah, I, I feel that a lot of you too, you've, you know, you've worked really, really hard. I know earth signs especially. Um, you're very dedicated and, you know, to your craft and you have very, very good work ethics. So you try to always work hard and you feel that um, you want to work hard because you want to be deserving of the things that um, you earn. So which is a very mature and a very enlightened way of looking at work and money in general. And while you might not have made a lot of money in the past, I feel that most of you are make a modest amount, but you always manage to live within your, your means. So I feel that, you know, money problems for Capricorns have never been major and in general I do feel that a lot of you have um, forgone a lot of like pleasures mainly because you really want to maintain a healthy balance and also because you want to live within your means and you want to be financially responsible and independent okay so that's very mature of you um, I do want to say though you know the only thing is it's um it makes you very guarded and it makes you it can actually be a hindrance to having like um to really enjoy your life so i feel like um your i guess your perception your perception and um your your attitude when it comes to money while it is the responsible way to look at money, I feel that you're holding yourself back a little too much and you might come out a little repressed at the same time. So um, you try to hold yourself back a lot from really jumping in and really enjoying life. So um, the end of the month is actually going to give you an opportunity to do that, okay? To really get out there. And um, I guess you're... <sighs> This is either stemming from you or other people that you're with or people in your midst in general. They're going to push you out of your element, but in a good way. They're pushing you out of your comfort zone so that you can enjoy life a little bit. I do sense a, a, a sense of like um, living life to the fullest, being a little more reckless than you're used to towards the end of this month. And if this is not another person, I feel this energy is you in that, you know, back then you were like really holding back and now you're letting loose which is good and I feel that you're doing it in a very responsible way and it's nothing that you're going to regret so um, the energy looks very good okay for those of you who are in stable relationships let me see there might be a falling out um, coming in the end of this month okay I don't feel that it's major and it's definitely fixable and I would advise you to try to fix it um, for those who are in stable and loving relationships I feel that um, you or your partner might be like tired of the humdrum so you might you or your partner might take a um, might take like 
risks or act, might make actions out of that might seem out of character. Okay, so let me see. Okay, so going back to what I mentioned earlier about the falling out, um, I feel that if you are a Capricorn male, it's your partner that might be a little turned off by uh, your newfound way of expressing yourself. And if you are a female Capricorn, I feel that um, you're going to be upset by um, the new... The, the person that you're in a relationship with, mainly because they're not doing things the way that you're used to. So, um, yeah, try to be careful with it. But I do feel that it is definitely easy for you to fix. You know, not to undermine the way um, the other person feels, but um, I do feel that a little bit of explanation from your end would go a long way in fixing this relationship. What I sense is... Um, if you're in stable relationships, okay, a situation like an ex or potentially somebody from the past and you're trying to, you know, communicate with that situation and try to fix it, your par you have to be really honest with your partner about this and be honest about your intentions because I feel that your partner might be doubting why you're going to back to that thing, <laughs> not thing, why you're going back to that person to try to um, make amends, okay, so be very open and honest about your true intentions and I don't feel you have anything to hide so try not to um, try not to like um, lie by omission mainly because I honestly don't think you have anything to hide so don't give your partner reasons to doubt you okay so a little bit of explanation would go a long way in this situation Okay, so I mentioned finances and okay, so for singles, I did mention that um, there is a very spirited um, person that is coming into your mist and uh, this person looks very genuine, but like I said, you know, they both parties need a little bit of um, of a fix in their emotional state in order for things to really gel and I feel like you know if you're looking to date again uh, this person is going to come in but I don't sense an overall like a uh, very romantic ambience in this spread mainly because all the cup energies are reversed yeah all the cup energies are inverted so I do sense that if you're meeting somebody new things are not going to solidify for this month um yeah, things won't solidify. I don't see a, a romantic ambience. So, um, moving ahead from that, what I do sense is this. In the long run, you're going to be doing them a, um, a better um, service, mainly because you're teaching them that, you know, I'm your family member. If I can't tolerate this, what makes you think people around you will who are not blood related to you, who don't love you unconditionally? So um, it's kind of like a, a game of tough love. And I feel like in the past, you might have overlooked the situation for quite some time. So it is really important to put your foot down and try to approach this situation in a more proactive and in a more, um, I guess, like... Um, Tackling the root of the problem head on, okay, kind of like this. All right, so um, don't turn your back on children because of their behavior. And I know, you know, it's like missed that needs to be addressed, and it's very important to um, take this opportunity for this month to do so because they really could benefit from your wisdom. All right, so I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful April. I will be back next week with the weekly reading, and I'll see you then. Thanks so much for watching.